What's this nonsense about needing a password to see Lord Cardigan today? Relax. I've got it in my pocket. Look sharp, men. Allow no one past unless I authorize them. Cardigan has gone too far this time. I've a mind to contact Scotland Yard myself. Come now, gentlemen. I thought us united in opposition against this perfidious law. What news you got? Ah, for you. Pardon me, gentlemen. Sergeant Freddie Aberline of Scotland Yard. Where might this scandalous activity be taking place? Oh, yes, yes. It's, uh, just this way. Follow me, Sergeant. But discreetly, if you would. One doesn't like to be seen airing a fellow member of Parliament to the dinner. What? <laughs> I'll be very discreet. Usually I would be in disguise, but my clothes all fell into the Thames. One of my favorite disguises is a very ancient old lady, modeled after my mother. You'd be surprised how convincing I am. A tough old bird she was. Actually had a facial hair problem. We'd sell the hair for dolls.
Please let me know if I'm speaking too much. I am prone to flights of fancy. Come on me, Jacob, if you need me. Let's get rid of him! Yeah, of course. Word, no pass. Oh, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> Coward! Villain! Alas, that the hero of Balaclava should fall not on the glory fields of Crimea, but to an assassin's blade. In the very halls of power. Are you finished yet? Take your bow, knave. For you have managed what no Russian battery, what no Indian tiger could achieve. Claim your trophy. And may you choke on it. Yes, but do tell me more about Balaclava. Farewell. Farewell, dear Britannia. Your dawn shall be dimmer that the Earl of Cardigan sees it not. God save the Queen and the Eleventh Hussars! What a prick. Someone's here! Hey, that's my 